morning everyone <clears throat> I'm just a not late couple of minutes sorry about that let me just bring this up how's everybody doing we've had some really nice few days mind my hand there in the beginning um, I'm just going to share this and I'll be right with you my, I like I feel like I'm losing my voice today um, Maybe I won't talk as much. Oh, I have one person, not the only one running behind today. Two people, nice. And one more share and I'll be right with you. Okay. Let's bring this up. Good morning, Brett, how are you? I have to mind my hand there. Morning, Roya. Morning, Gloria. Hi, Terry. <laughs> I feel like I just finished talking to you. Um, I th um, it's not that I'm losing my voice. My throat's a little bit sore. So what I'm going to do is maybe not talk so much today and just do some actual work. <laughs> you know, I can talk a lot. Okay. So today... Um, I was going to create um, some fabric bags using our um, new stencils. So I just wanted to show you a few different ones that we have here. Um, this is using the sprays as well as the fabric paints. We carry fabric mist, which is machine washable, and we also carry fabric paints. By pe they're both by Pentart and they're both um, washable. And this one's done using um, rice paper. Oh, that's okay, Terry. This one's used, um, but thank you. Um, this one's um, used using rice paper. And um, then it's just using various stencils and sprays and some of the paints, they're quite big. Um, so that's one where I'm just showing you, you can use rice paper. And I think Dali made that one actually. Um, so this is machine washable and then this one is also using a stencil um, but it's using the gold and blue stencil paste which believe it or not is also machine washable so the Pentart stencil paste are machine washable so if you just want to go for a plain Jane look you can too um, they look really nice when they're poofed up um, this one I've just put some padding into this is the one I'm going to be demoing today good morning Pat good morning Paul and um, so this one I'm going to demo today it's a Dali art stencil and um, I'm going to be using the fabric uh, media mist and also the stencil okay so I've just poofed it up but really it's just um, the smaller size bag just like that so again um, just so very very pretty and I thought this stencil really lended itself um, well to this so this is just a stencil paste on the bigger bag and this one which I know Terry loves is also a stencil and um, the stencil paste on it so again um, this is the exact same technique that I'm going to be doing on this size okay so what are we going to be using today um, I've already actually posted these on the website um, Dali also carries these we have the big bag right here and then we also have the smaller bag here so if you would like one or like to play around um, 
go on the website. And what else do we have? Um, I might do some stamping because once you iron it, it becomes permanent. Now I'm going to be using stays on pad for that. And then these are the fabric mists. So I've got red, I've got olive, uh, green, uh, yellow, my favorite, turquoise. And oh, thanks, Paul. I know my voice, right? I'm going to stop talking after this. Um, red wine. That's a nice color. And last one, which I can't get in my hand, is um, the blue. Okay, so we have those. And depending on the colors, as you know, we've got about seven different eight stencil paste. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get some lemon and honey. Uh, and I actually brought lemon and honey because my throat has been acting up. Um, I got green, gold, and brass because I thought they worked the best. In terms of stencils, um, these were the new releases. You can use any of them. Um, there's this one which is Astral. And then we have the Butterfly. Are just absolutely gorgeous stencils. You could use any of these actually. And then, of course, the one I'm going to be using is a moment's time and memory. And just remember when you're using this one, if you put it down backwards, then your writing's going to be backwards. It was a red wine. I wish, Paul. I wish. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to try and keep this short so I can rest my voice. <clears throat> okay, now... Once we have done this, what you want to do is to iron set everything. Just put um, a t another tea towel or parchment paper over your work and then just use your iron on a low setting. And what will happen is, is that it will become machine washable, including the stamping. Okay. Oh, the crackle stamp would be really nice on here. <laughs> okay. Let's get going. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the reverse side of this bag. That way I can save all the bags to sell to you guys. So remember, you must iron to set it. Okay, next step that you want to do is just put in your paper, um, wax paper, parchment paper. It doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> Because what this will do is it will protect your bag from the fabric paint leaking onto the other side. Okay, there you go, simple. Now you can go straight stencil paste like Dali did. Um, you don't have to use the sprays. You can just go like that. They're very pretty, very, very pretty. And she left them here. She brought them to show me and she left them here. So I'm just loving them. And then, of course, we have our stencil. Okay, let's get going. You need an old box. And put down some paper in there. Some plastic paper. And just put this down. Now, if you want to, if you want to keep your sides clean, then just put paper around here like so to protect all your edges but i like my spray going outside what i'm going to do is i just use le page spray adhesive it's multi-purpose first we can get it at walmart at a really good price uh, i'm sure michael's carries it uh, or actually canadian tire it's repositionable um so you want to spray it on and just give it a few seconds and then put it down and then it's again repositionable if you leave it it becomes permanent okay. 
I don't have holes for my mum has lemon honey drop cough drops. Oh, those might work. So I'm just going to go off camera and spray this. So now it's sprayed, I'm just going to wait a few seconds. Oh, you get high up this stuff. <laughs> so bear with me if I'm a little bit out of sorts when doing this today. <laughs> uh, now it's tacky, so I'm just going to come and place it down. And again, I had to make sure that my writing was showing up at the right spots so it's not backwards that's huge what's huge okay it's stuck now so now it's just a matter of picking some colors and I know I said turquoise was my favorite so chances are I will put some in I might go with an olive today. Uh, blue and red. Um, maybe I should be brave and not do the turquoise, my favorite color, and stick to these three. Um, a little bit goes a long way with these sprays, so it goes slow. So all we're going to do is we're just going to spray. Too much red. Oh, my blue is clogged. And you have to use the turquoise now. Let's see what kind of mess I've come up with. It's never going to be the same because it's always going to be a little bit different. Now, if I want to, I can come in again once this dries and it would be a lot more... Um, vibrant or you'd have more paint there um, for instance in this area I could probably come back in with a little bit more green that's it that's all you're doing and then you can lift off your stencil put that in water right away they're um before they're iron set they are um they're water based so you're fine they're very pretty i really like it i've got kind of more red going on at the top but look at how pretty that is okay so now you can take it out it's gonna be a very short demo today take it out and we're gonna dry it Sneaking in some water while I'm drying. Um, 
so I'm not gonna get my stencil out that I used and dry it and whatnot because we'll just carry on. I'm going to use a butterfly one to do my stenciling. But if you wanted to leave your bag like this, it's still very, very pretty. I'll tell you the sizes. This one is just about nine by ten and a quarter. This one is twelve, approximately twelve is sixteen and a half by. Fifteen, sixteen and a half by fifteen. Okay. Now we just stencil. So this this side a lot darker. I went very very much so dark around the outside, and then on this side it's a lot lighter. I actually like the lighter side. Okay, this is simple. You want to be on a hard surface. And then you just want to... Uh, I don't want to do gold. I'm going to stick to the these two colours. Maybe gold will make it pop more. Decisions, decisions. Let's do gold. Let's just see what happens. It might pop more. So I'm just going to open these both up and I'm just going to go back and forth between the two. So you can place it wherever you want. If you wanted, you could, I mean, you could put a big butterfly there, but not on this bag. This bag is just a little bit too um, small for my liking to do that on. What I'm doing is, I'm putting some gold on, wiping my palette knife, and then coming in with a little bit of the green. And then that way you get a two-tone look. Okay, again, wipe my palette knife. Don't know what to do next, but I think you guys get the gist. My beloved vortex is right here, so maybe I'll do my little some vortexing here. The vortex is the same as my stamp that I really like. So you could just keep going and going and I could keep going and going, but I'm going to leave it at that just because it gives you an idea of what I'm trying to do.
I'm going to save my voice if I can leave it at this. Now you can go back in and you can spray the um, handles if you want to. I've done them on the other side. We're going to dry this and then you would heat set this, okay? That's not completely dry. Now, what I'm going to try and do, when I did the other side, I used the stays on um, to stamp. <clears throat> now I'm going to try and see if I can't do it. This is just a test. Um, I can't help myself. Oh, I've got the crackle stamp again. I'm going to see if I can actually do it with um, stamp with this. Let's see what happens. So. The reason I'm doing that is because my stays on is black and I want to keep this and the family the colour. So we'll just do a test, right? Uh, let's hide it somewhere. Oh yes, it works wonderful. Sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and um, see if things work. You see the crackle stamp. Okay, well we know that works, right? Don't want to do any more stamping, but you can um, definitely do as much stamping as you want. Um, don't worry about your stamps because it is um, water-based. Okay, I don't even think I've been on for 25 minutes yet, but I'm going to leave it at that. I think I've showed you how to go about creating this bag and I will show you what we did today but I think you get the gist this was what I had done before thanks for uh, the canvas bags are really nice to work with the nice thing is is that once you can stuff them and you can turn down the handles just like so sew it up and you have a really nice cushion but here we have it I like the lighter look I know Gloria I love the crackle stamp too my voice is crackle love it love it I'm gonna keep using it on everything You see the two-tone. I am glad I used the gold because it does really pop. It's a lighter back on this side so the gold works well. But there you have it. Next step would be to put some parchment paper over it and on a low setting iron it and then it will become machine washable. 
So Dali and I both carry the fabric uh, medium mist in a range of colors. We also carry the fabric paint because you can actually use a fabric paint through the stencil like you would just stenciling. And we also carry the small and the big bags. I'm not sure if Dali has a small, <coughs> has, excuse me, has, has the small bags, but definitely I know she carries the big bags. Okay, thanks Gloria. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm so sorry, it is so short. Um, have a great day and Dali will be live on Thursday. Have a great day, everybody. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, bye everyone. <laughs>